Okay, chest. Chest. Chest is on the bottom floor. Okay. What are you? Another purple? Yep. Alright, we're just gonna have to drown for a second. What will run out first? Our oxygen or 50 rupees? Come on, rupees. Come on, rupees. Come on, rupees. Oh, oxygen's totally gonna run out first. Oh, God, yes! Oh! But we drowned. Worth. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. I hope you have had a good evening from the last episode. Or right away if you watch it back to back. I don't, know, I don't know why I said that, but either way, hello and welcome. I am eager to keep going. We are currently gathering up all the heart pieces we can. There is a few I checked um, in the next, like, what I decided to call an actual dungeon, but I've been calling a pseudo dungeon. I'm not spoiling what it is, but it's what happens when we go with, when we use the Mirror of Twilight. Um, so there's a few in there, and that's fine, but there are no more past that point. I should get out of here. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Zelda month is drawing to a close, but we have a lot more to come. Where am I going? We are going to... Oh, Minda played Bendy and the Ink, Ink, Bendy and the Ink Machine. That's cool for her. Uh, we're gonna just drop over back to Bridge of Elden, go to the Hidden Village, do that mini game for the piece of heart there. It's really fun, really cute, good times. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna bang out as many of the pieces of heart as we can. I did check. There doesn't seem to be a piece of heart on top of the. Um, Zora fountain spring thing. Um, it's just rupees up there, so not a concern. I'm coming up and up. I'm coming. Ooh, rolling around you too. Don't mind me. Uh, so that's good, because I, I have no idea what we were supposed to be doing there, and I'm A-OK -okay not ever opening whatever chest that was. Overworld, ruby chests don't really matter to me. Also, wow, that hit our shield, because it hit us in the back. That's pretty cool level of detail. That level of, uh, of completionism never really bothered me. It's more the ones that show up on the map that I get a little eye twitchy about. I think Epina's hooves knocked that arrow away. You'll notice I get uh, weirdly obsessive about certain things, and then basically don't give a crap about other things. Wow, they're just, they're just shelling Epina there. I hope she's okay. Like, you'll notice in most games, I basically don't give a crap about time trials. Like, I just, I just don't care. Hi, kitty cats! I'd love to interact with you, but we'll do that shortly. First, we have to go talk to a chicken. I don't think you'll let me do it here, will you? No, you will! Okay. Oh, welcome! This is the Forgotten Village! 30? No, more like 20! That's how many cats have made it back here to the village. It's the exact same way, um... Darbus described the enemies in the village. He goes, 30? No, maybe 20. So perhaps you could, you know, just play with them? Aw, oh, thanks so much! They're all so lonely, perhaps you could talk to every one of them. But if you leave the village, it will be like you talk to... It will be like you never talk to any of them, do you understand? Cats are forgetful. Oh, and let me give you a tip for starting it all, to all of them. T speaking to all of them, I can read. Start at one end. Got it? 
So we got to talk to all 20 cats to be able to get a heart piece, and we get the, the cool western music the whole time. Which you know I'm here for. I think we can transform, but we shouldn't. Because we also might not be able to. Wolf butt. I appreciate that they treat this with the same intensity as clearing the town out from baddies. Meow! What fun, meow! First one, meow! I'm not gonna read all of them, but they do say that and then their number. Second one. And then if you try and talk to them again, they go, you've already spoken to me. We've already spoken. Third. Fourth. I like how they just know their number, too. Even though some are, like, literally kind of tucked out of the way. This minigame is legit just so much fun. I love that they did this. And then they'll kind of follow you if you let them. I think we're gonna try and get all the ground level ones first. Oh. Hi. I lose my train of thought <laughs> easy. <laughs> I've spoken to you two? Nope. That's nine. Ooh, have I spoken to you? No, oh, that's ten. We're halfway through. We go in here. Yeah. Okay, so we've done ground level up to here. Is that a golden bug? No, it's a bird. Okay. Bugs are now birds, confirmed. 11th. I almost missed you. That's where we came out. Hi! 12th. So, I'm pretty sure the rest are all up top in places. I'll save state before I transform to Human Link, just in case that, like, disqualifies us. Because it legitimately might. Have I spoken to you? No. Good thing I checked. 16th. I swear I've been over here. Are you guys wandering? You shouldn't wander. Stay in your designated areas. How rude. Seventeenth. Okay, cool. We can we can do that freely. That's good. Kind of need you to get uh, up to some of these places. Yes, you're adorable. I love every second of your existence. Don't worry. I think we got to get over across there. Oh, excuse me. Ooh, hello. Nineteenth. Okay, we're missing one. If there's one up there, then it's that one. I think we can hookshot over from the other side. Ooh, have we been over there? I think we have, but I'm gonna check anyway. Hey. 
Black cat we have. Tabby we have, okay. There, okay. Pretty sure there's a building we have to claw shot up to. Can we not get up there? You know, we've definitely been up here. We can totally get up there. I don't know what I think happened, Midna. That's a good question. I already talked to both of you. Can I climb up on this? I cannot. That's sad. But I can go up there. We've definitely been up there, but I think maybe I jumped down too easily. I don't see one up there, nor can I really think of a way to get up there. What about over there? Oh yeah, yeah, that's, that's that place, okay. Loki always loved westerns. There it is! Haha, I knew it! Film studies class in school. Uh, I had to watch. Look at that! Look at that! So adorable. Not animals. Um, I had to watch. Oh, what? What movie was it? Western, like uh, like an older western. And it had not not Clint Eastwood. I've still never seen a Clint Eastwood movie, but it had like another big. Western actor. Ugh, now I gotta know. Enjoy this music for a moment while I quickly Google. Is it John Wayne? I, th I think it might have actually been a John Wayne movie. Okay, so... John Wayne movies. I must know. It's very important. The Searchers! That's what it was. Anyways, yeah, good movie. <laughs> but uh, I was I was quite surprised. Normally when I consume Western media, like the Western genre, not movies from the West, it's usually like mixed with something, like a steampunk Western or a sci-fi Western or something like that. But uh, it's just a fun straight Western. This cat is very hidden. It's 
probably mixed with all the other cats that I've already talked to. There's a very real possibility I might have to leave and come back. So that... Yeah, you were my first. I can, like, reset the ones that I haven't talked to and just kind of go through again. But we'll see how it goes. Oh no, more of this song, am I right? Where was where was the spot that I could hook up to? Meow. Have I truly talked to all the ones that were over here? I think I did. I was pretty thorough about it. Hi birdies. Definitely talk to you. See, so we're right in front. We're already buddies. I want to be buddies with all of you. You're so cute. Precious. See, I'm worried about one that we haven't spoken to mixing in with the ones that we have. Because although they do kind of lay down, they also wander a little bit. Cat collecting minigame legitimately challenging. Hi, cuties! You're the end. Ho, 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 ho. What happened if I... There's one up there. Is that it? Got him! Wow, meow. Everyone is getting along, meow. Go tell the cuckoo leader. So I just had to figure out how to jump up here. Okay, that's fair. Good to know that I'm awesome. Not that I need confirmation. You'll talk to all of them. Thanks. Now your prize is in front of the old lady's house. Make sure you pick it up before you leave. Rip the music. One tricky pouch. One tricky pouch. I destroyed a table. That makes me unreasonably happy. Hi, babies. I am your forever, buddy! Let's go talk to the old lady. See how she's doing. <laughs> ah, Link. I am so glad you are well. Thanks to you, I have been spending my days in peace. Thank you so very much. Surrounded by cats? Lucky. Do you have to feed them? Do, do they hunt for food themselves? Important questions. Hey, baby! <laughs> fine. I'll give you a moment. Yeah. Okay, fine, fine. But don't tell your friends! There you go. There you go. Be at peace. You guys are so precious, I need to get out of here! All right, let's maybe deal with going back to the previous dungeons where we had to clear some chests. I'll use the rupee armor for all of them. Most of them are red or purple. Hopefully no oranges. I don't feel guilty though. I don't know why you'd ask that, Mitha. Nothing to feel guilty about. Ah, the champion! Oh, hey, the golden cuckoo's still there. Uh, 
<laughs> the main reason I'm doing this now is just because I know there's that one in the lake bed temple which we missed. Mildly chuffed about that. Alright, is it... Wow, this whole dungeon was one floor? Damn, okay. So it's only the one chest we have to go get. Yeah, that's not bad. And we're fully kitted out, so like... This shouldn't be hard. Whee! So this video should be going live on Wednesday, the 30th, which is the last day of Spooktober. Spooktober? Shadow, go home, you're drunk. Um, Zelda month. Obviously, we're not going to be finishing the game this episode. But next episode, we will likely take care of the Poe Hunt. Didn't mean to fall in here, by the way. I would like to leave being in this body of water, please. Um, yeah, next episode uh, will probably be the Poe Hunt. This episode will likely be taken up mostly by heart piece collection. Then we have the um, the next dungeon. Hi, that was pretty stupid of me. Not 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 gonna lie. And so that's Thursday, Friday. Probably going to be Monday or Tuesday when we finish Twilight Princess. I plan on... Wait, did the claw shot really just destroy that guy in one shot? Get destroyed, my friend. This isn't even where I want to be either. Lol. Um, so expect like an update video in between... Seriously, where the heck am I going? Oh, I've just been ignoring this door in my talking fugue. Uh, yeah, so expect an update video after Zelda Month, just kind of talking about the channel, my thoughts, and where we're kind of going to go from here. I'm doing a lot of thinking about that before recording this episode, so it's a little on my mind at the moment, but... That is not at this moment, so I will not waste your time with that. Alright, let's get this chest and get the heck out of here. Hi, I literally don't have time for you. Oh, you got your hit in, though. Good for you. Proud of you, my guy. Okay, so the chest is up there. Can I just do this? How did we get up there in the first place? Oh, through there. Whee! No, I want the one literally in front of me, please. Oh, I guess he stopped moving. I don't even want to kill you, my guy. I'm busy. Oh, yeah, and I gotta go back to the comments uh, before we go back to the Lake Bed Temple. It was pointed out that I missed a couple of jars, so I want to make sure I get those. My philosophy with breakables and stuff like that, if I don't go to the place where they are, and I don't see them, then I don't care if they need to be destroyed, because whatever, right? There's lots of hidden areas. Hi, can you... Thank you. But if I see them, then they need to be destroyed. That is the law. This one is a purple, if memory serves. So we're just gonna drain 50.
Oh, it was only 20. I had a small feeling, but I went with 50 anyways. Anyways, can I just... No, I can't just warp out of here. We're gonna have to go the long way. That's fine. Hi. Ooh, he came with me. Well, enjoy being over here then, I guess. You were kind of stranded over there, so fair enough, I suppose. And we move on to the Goron Mines. Just gonna roll our out, bonk. Roll our way out of here once more. Goodbye, Forest Temple. We shall never return. At least until I do my next Twilight Princess playthrough. There's lots of other Zelda games to get through, so I don't think we'll ever return to Twilight Princess on the channel, but maybe if we do some mods at some point, that'd be something I'd be interested in covering. Okay, now we can warp. What is your butt scene bed? I missed the last bit. Now we can go up to Death Mountain. Here's a fun fact about me that I don't think I've shared on the channel yet. Um, I I do really love rhythm games, but I'm not very good at them if I'm being real. Um, so I've really been enjoying uh, Friday Night Funkin' just as a existence. I guess I can do that. Um, I played most of the base game. It's alright, you know. Uh, the mom's third song, which I will not name for copyright reasons, not copyright reasons, uh, YouTube striking reasons, uh, is the best song in the game, you can never convince me otherwise, although Tank Man's week is pretty solid too. No, the reason I mention it is because the modding scene, oh my god, the modding scene? Most of my music that I listen to these days are FNF mods, um, and in particular, Four-Way Fracture and Omnipresent from the, like, the Sonic.exe mods, weirdly enough, are just so good. Like, disgustingly good. Like, they have no right being that good. Four-Way Fracture, in particular, has probably bumped itself up to being my favorite song of all time right now. And, of course, that varies as time goes on, but, um... I just... Oh, oh, wow, they're pretty deep in, too. That's unfortunate. That's fine. We'll go. Um, Sticker Brush Symphony, as a heads up, will always be a, a pretty high up there. Um, favorite song of all time for me, seeing as Donkey Kong Country 2 is one of my favorite games of all time. Expect to see that trilogy up on the channel eventually, FYI. Link! Come on, my dude. What are you doing? Um, but yeah, four-way fracture, just... Oh, so bloody melodic. And Omnipresent is way better than it has the right to be as well, but, you know, that, that I think that's a more commonly held opinion. Also a big fan of Mecha Sonic, ironically. I'm not really a big Sonic fan, but I do love a lot of the stuff that's come out of the fandom. And I like watching people talk about Sonic content. Shoutouts to the Game Apologist, Nick. Absolute Chad channel. Why? 
why? Why, Link, would you just know? Link, why? 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 I? Why? I? Wow. SMH. Uh, I also really like the Starlight Mayhem mod with a character called CJ. Although, I will specify that I guess the mod makers had someone leave and he took files with him and so they couldn't get CJ's original voice to work anymore. Which sucks because CJ's original voice was God tier and his new voice they came out with is just not... I'm not a fan. Like, it ruins the mods for me. But the old version of uh, Artificial Lust and um, Inverted Ascension are just goaded. Like, absolutely goaded. Hi, I'm not bothering with you two. Okay. There's honestly just so many mods I could list that are just like some of my favorite songs of all time. Where am I going? I've been here before. Why? Am I am I, am I hippity hopping? I'm hippity hopping. Okay. Hi. Okay, I think yeah, we got to switch to hit over here-ish. Yes. And then we run. Anyways, yeah, I bring that up, uh, all that FNF stuff up, just because uh, four-way fracture is still living rent-free in my brain for basically this entire recording. It is just playing inside my head. Not necessarily a bad thing, but, uh, you know. Alright, where in the Kentucky Fried Hell are we going now? Okay, so they're both in the same room, which makes it a little easy on us. We only have one destination. We do need to climb up here to go up there, which means we're going to have to ride these, I think. Probably didn't want to go over here? No, I didn't. Okay. I thought there might have been another magnet over here, but there was, in fact, not another magnet over here. Whee! Take me away! Uh, eventually. Hey, bro, you coming? Oh, Lord, he coming. It does go left. We wanted to go left, I think. Yes, we did. Okay, hang on. Let it go back over there. Hi. Oh no, he saw me! Take me away! Ha ha! I get dunked on, my dude. One of the chests that we're missing, I know exactly where we have to go now. One of the chests we're missing is uh, that one that I literally couldn't figure out how to get to. Um, I think maybe we needed the claw shot, which is why I just kind of went okay, whatever, and ow. Left? Hi, can you maybe not do things? Thanks. I'm sure I can hit this from here. Maybe if I could aim. There we go. Hi guys. 
not here to play with you. Bye. I disagree on the bomb there. Alright, we've made it to the room. There's a chest down below, and then the chest. We're gonna want to take care of all of these fellas. Because they're fixing to be pretty rude. Disagree that that shot hit, but I'm not complaining. Is that it? I think that's it. Okay. It's probably not it, but. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, we do definitely need the claw shot for that one. Weird that they had that in here. You better be a hard piece. <sighs> Return to the dungeon specifically to get a purple ruby. That is absolutely not worth. What were you thinking, Nintendo? I think we're good to just, like, drop? <laughs> Down here... That looks like it needs to be destroyed with a water bomb. We... I don't think can gain access to those, can we? Oh, well, we can, and it does not need to be destroyed with a water bomb because that is not a rock, like I thought it was. Okay, chest? Chest? Chest is on the bottom floor, okay. What are you? Another purple? Yep. Alright, we're just gonna have to drown for a second. What will run out first, our oxygen or 50 rupees? Come on, rupees. Come on, rupees. Come on, rupees. Oh, oxygen's totally gonna run out first. Oh, God, yes! Oh! But we drowned. I like how it's not like you just start slowly losing hearts or anything like that. Like, no, you just drown and die, and it's game over. That's fine. I think the chest still counts as collected. It does, so I literally do not care. Only time I'm really concerned about game overs in a Zelda game is when it's a game like Link's Awakening where there's a secret or a true ending tied to never having games over. In which case, yeah, okay, we're not we're not accepting game overs. But Twilight Princess does not have one of those things. Gotta make it back out through this room. How do we leave? I don't think I've ever actually gone backwards here. We just warp out at the end. 
sure. No, 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 you're supposed to... Yeah, you're supposed to shoot me this way, thank you. Jump off here. Wow, I'm surprised we haven't had. There we go. I was waiting for the beep. I guess it's only considered a minor health emergency at the moment. Hence the slow beeping. And we're good. Now we may move on to the Lake Bad Temple. Uh, that would be in Hyrule Lake. Lake Hylia. I did a quick check. I know which two pots I missed in the temple. It brings great shame upon my ancestor and all, uh, ancestors and all that. Uh, we're actually going to... Once we get down there, just kind of keep the magic armor equipped for a bit, I think, to fully drain our rupees. I really don't mind. Oof. Slow swim. I, I, if I hadn't jumped into the water there, I contemplated um, running into the spring to just stand there and replenish our hearts for a minute. But if we're equipping the magic armor, we really can't take any damage anyways. Although we obviously can't swim like this with it on. Anyways, we have the one heart piece chest in the middle chamber. I know we've got at least one purple rupee. Um, we're gonna have to climb that slippery slope again. But I have the double claw shot, so we might just be able to like zip up there. We'll see. Oh, hey, all the Zora that were here are gone. That's kind of funny. And I think that's all we have for chests in here, but there might be a few extras. We'll see. Oh, there's a lot in here. Oh my goodness, there is a... You, you know what? Yeah, we're, we're gonna drain our rupees. This might take a, uh, a hot minute to get them all. We're gonna have to traverse a lot of the dungeon again. Okay, hey, that's fine. Gotta be thorough. For now, we can just kind of zip our way through here. Don't zap me, bro. this on for a while. Ow. Hey, man, I'm trying to climb. Do you mind? Okay, so we've got all the center chamber ones, but we'll probably get that last. Better to go get the ones that are on the side first. <laughs> We're back, Lake Bed Temple. I can't, I can't. 
can't believe I missed that. That's so obvious. Oh well. No sense whinging about it. Okay, so we've got a lot in that next room. But that's it for this side. Okay, so it's just that one central area for these. There. I at least think I've gotten rid of the low heartbeat. We somehow never opened that gate. That's right. Not really sure what we had to do for it, but whatever. We didn't open this one either, and I thought we'd traverse this. Alright, well, that's fine. It's not fine. I am Confucia. We've been through this area. How can we not go through this area? Excuse? What? Do I have to go through on the lower level? All right, fine. You wanna be like that? How did I not even notice you, my guy? It's kinda sad. That's fine, we descend. Oh, we need to pull the lever, Kronk. Which we can do from here, okay, good. Oops, I probably shouldn't have let go. Started drowning there underneath. Oh, hey, look, we're here. I suppose I might as well grab... Well, no, I don't want to grab that chest. Can I get up, please? Oh, there we go. That's what I needed. We're probably good to take off the armor now. We've lost over half our wallet, and we're going to want a full wallet for when we do the cave of ordeals, because I will actually be... Um, using the armor there, like, for its intended purpose, and not just, uh, make it so I can pick up chests that I should be able to pick up. But we'll go a little bit further, I think. Now, we're gonna have to climb up here again. We can actually do a bit of an unintended strat here because we have both claw shots, so we can access a few things we would have been able to before if they give us any opportunities. Like this. We can do that now. Okay, there's a chest over there ish. Oh. That's open though. Must be up top. Cool. Or that could happen. No, do we still lose a heart? <laughs> nope. We lose a chunk of rupees. How much? About 50 or 100, I think. Okay, I think we're actually just gonna ride this one around. I can even hook to it. No, okay. Alright, I'm gonna stop at 200, I think. Now, 
can I hook shot over there right away? Oh, I could have if I'd done it a bit quicker. That's fine. Down, bad boy. Yeah, that's fine. Don't waste your opportunity. Whee! There's that weird ass sound again. Ooh, that was actually kind of dangerous. Okay, chest that way. I see it. Can I? How do I get over there? Oh, I just need to take another step. Okay. Red rupee. Red rupee. Red rum. Okay, and the other chests are all on the outer layer, so now I'm going to want to... I don't think I can jump this? No. Have I broken those jars over there? I feel like I have. I'm gonna break them again just to be sure. I don't even want those rupees. Scuttle over here. Let's make sure we open th those two doors. Okay. Gotta be careful you don't hook over to the very bottom of a thing because you will just fall off. Very important claw. Important. Very important claw shot lesson to remember. No, 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 no. You also gotta watch out because sometimes the direction link will shimmy doesn't change with you, it stays depending on what button you're holding. Okay, there's a chest over here. Oh, this is the, um, the one we saw from the other side. Maybe we can unlock that door then? That'd be neat. There's a chew over here, yep. Yeah. Oh, I should have maybe grabbed that red chew. Okay, so we can take this chest. Can we see a way to unlock this? Oh, we'll take this first. Okay, I just think we literally never went over to this little section. I don't think we can unlock this one, but the other one on the other side we probably can. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Also, that weird sound we were hearing appears to be this moving. Fine. Now we are going to circle around. Oof, Link, Link, do thing, do thing, please. Do thing. Can we unlock this one? I see no mechanism. Oh, right there. There we go. Where am I? Oh, okay. I want to be going that way. Can I go that way? Or do I have to go through a different door? I think I have to go through a different door. That's fine. We'll see if we can't circle around. Pretty sure there's doors to both these areas in this next one. We don't have to go up here, do we? No, that one's for a heart piece. So we definitely got it. Okay, 
Alright, so one's probably underwater there. If I had to guess. Hey! Hey, look, it's a clam. Okay, let's maybe not drown again. There we go. Alright, chest. Chest, I see. I'm going to assume rubies. Yeah, only 22. And then another chest this way. The other side of this wall. Okay. Okay, I'm assuming we have to go through here then. I think we can grab a cog? Nope. No cog grabbing here. Oh, but we can just take the obviously much easier route over here. I've said it before, I'll say it again, I am the most incredibly observant person to miss incredibly obvious things. There is no rhyme or reason. I will either see things that no one else can, or miss things that everybody is like, dude, it's right freaking there. Okay, we're good with this side, it's just the middle, and... Two chests on the right. That one is a sunken chest in the little tunnel there. I remember where it is. Uh, and that one's the one we have to climb for. And then we've got like several chests in the middle there. Hi, Choo Choo. You're a purple behemoth now and I don't like it. I do not approve of your giantness. How dare. Okay, is there any way we can open this gate or that gate? Yes, we can open that gate using the obvious means to open said gate. That I missed on my first playthrough here and just ruined like that? Come on. Cool. Alright, we out of this chamber. I guess this episode really wasn't as much about heart pieces as it was about fully completing all these dungeons. I know uh, Temple in the Sky, or City in the Sky, we've got none to do. Um, the lower floor, and we... Oh, 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 hi. Can you, can, you, can, you, can you not? Can you not, please? Ow. Ow, that really hurt. Can you not? Um, I don't think we have to go back to Snow Peak. Nor the Temple of Time. Like, all those later dungeons we did pretty good. But the first couple we definitely do. Obviously. I'm also aware that I could have, um... Ooh, there's fine there. Hold on. Not about that. I'm aware that I could have just, like, skipped through a lot of this, so that you didn't have to see the same dungeon again, but, like, yeah, why not, you know? But seriously, where is this, and why can we get here? Does it lead anywhere? I should have looked before I clawed. I don't think it does. Should I? Should I be here? Where am I? What in the hell? Where am I? Yo! Yo, where the hell am I? Yo, there's jars here! What the hell? I don't think I've ever been down here! 
Ow! I mean, there's no chest down here, so it's probably just gonna be a lot of uh, yellow rupees in jars, but like, damn. A lot of clams. Yo, this is so cool. current just kind of carries us around in a circle. Oh my god, I love this. I'm fairly certain I've never been out here. Ooh, hold on. No, okay. I mean, I remember always noticing that, um, that, like, grass spot there, but I don't think I ever really thought much of it. Okay, so, the big question now, how do we get out? Oh my god, that is so freaking cool. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. Oh lord, he coming. get over to that one. That was neat. I'm so glad I discovered that. Alright, um, we want to go down. Oh, and right there, that's where we need to go for the two jars we missed. We'll ride this around, then we'll go get the underwater one, then we have to climb, then it's the middle area, and then we are free to leave this dungeon behind forever. Uh, do we- oh, hi. Hi, hi, hi. Guess you were persistent enough. Wow, you're all persistent enough, too. Right, okay. A blue rupee and a heart. Absolutely worth. We get these ones too. Okay, jars taken care of. Now, how best to get over there? Okay, we have to go in the door. It's not a water thing. Sounds weird to say in the water temple. Sorry, lake bed temple. Alright, we'll ride this one around. No big. I just want to say too, while I have this moment of waiting here, um, I have moments of anxiety and depression and like self-confidence stuff where I like, wow, the content I'm producing is crap. I can't believe anyone is watching, etc, etc, etc. But I do want to say, overall, I've had a blast with Twilight Princess. And uh, it's definitely tired me out a lot. But it's just been fun getting to play again in general, but also showcasing for all of you guys. 
So I hope you've definitely been enjoying. Uh, let me hit the chest, please. Uh, you know, just, just lots of fun. This one is only a red rupee. Okay, yeah, maybe maybe we don't drown. We already showcased that once the stream stream recording. All right, now we are good to just kind of continue. We want to be on the upper level now, so we're gonna want to go back, which means we have to go right across this thing again. Fracture still playing rent free in my head. Whee! And for the record, I'm not a huge fan of Triple Trouble. The thing that Four Way Fracture is actually a remix of. Like, Triple Trouble ain't bad, don't get me wrong, but like, yeah. Um, eh, eh, Sorry. Again, Link's legs are completely destroyed. Starts drowning, climbing a staircase. You know you're having a good time. Alright. We go across now. Go away, Tektite. I really don't want to play with you. I've had to re-kill too many of you guys today. I don't know what that does for your health insurance, but it can't be good. No chests over here. We definitely dominated this side. Ow! That hurt. Why are you gonna be like that, man? I thought we were friends. Ooh, you know, I kinda <laughs> I don't wanna try something. Hang on, first let's get in there. Okay, there it is. Now can we like Probably not, but I kind of want to know. Oh my god, we can. Doesn't help because the second we lose control, but like, that's still pretty cool. Wait, does that mean... Oh, okay, you can't use it in water itself. Like, to, to go across the surface of water, but, you know, you just don't slide. That's fine. I'd like to try using the claw shots to more success here. Now that we've got both of them. Like, can we... Okay, we can't outright skip any. Yeah, and I think they're too spaced apart to use. We're just gonna abuse this save state here. I have already done this challenge successfully, as evidenced in episode 11 of this series called Slip Sliding Away, referring to this exact room. So, I don't mind cheesing it a little bit. I really should be taking incremental save states. Like that. Should have taken one sooner. I was expecting a barrier long before that. I 
was about to save state as I was falling. That would have been bad. Oh, hi, my friend. Ooh, ooh, you know what? Get mortal drawn, bitch. And then we just dive right off. Did not mean to do that. Come on, come on. Pretty sure this is the last bend. I mean, the chest is already showing up on the map again. Oh, I'm so glad that counted. Really? You're gonna, you're gonna warp my shot like that? Waterfall? How rude. Alright, give me this thing so I can do the proper slip slide. Thank you. And now, because it'll amuse me... Don't lose speed, you're going downhill. Ah, uh, whatever. I do want to check one thing too, because it'll amuse me. One more thing I should say, I've checked a few things already. What if we... Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not through with this. Ah, it works! It works and it's faster than the boots! Cheese! Delicious cheddar. I'm not really sure if that counts as cheddar or just, um... An unintended weight interaction, but still, it's pretty cool. So you have to have the boots equipped first to even, like, be able to stand on the slope, but then you can take out the ball, and it's just faster to move. Oh, hi, Claw Shots. Surely I can do something here? Don't call me Shirley? No? Okay. We'll go through the middle. Should have taken the other door. Das ist fine. We get there. How long have we been going for this episode? Ugh, it's getting a little late. Okay. Maybe we'll do one or two more heart pieces after we get out of here. We'll see if maybe we can get a quick one. Oh, you know, I, I think I read one when I was checking for the Zora Lake one that we can do pretty quick. That needs to double claw shots. So we definitely don't have it yet. Alright, let's get this thing first and foremost. Go away, Tech Titan. Can you go to chest, please? Thank you. Ooh, and that's a full heal for us. We'll take that. Whee! Alright, so we are going to need the Zora suit on. And we're going to have to go into the water here. For some of these chests, because they are now submerged. You 
guys gonna be good? Red rupee. Is there one further down? There does not appear to be one further down. I think this dungeon is now clear. It is, which means we are good to leave. Please don't hit me, Tektite. Thank you. I appreciate that he lost interest. Alright, now how do we leave? Go up a level. Woo, that was close. But he almost hit me. There are eight heart pieces left, if my math is correct. Assuming we don't get a heart container from the next dungeon, and I'm pretty sure we don't, but our final confirmation will, will be when we go to whoever the fortune teller's chick is, Fanati, I think is her name, um, and she goes, I have nothing to show you. That's, that's your cue that there's no more heart containers to get. There are two in the next dungeon, so I'll have to remember that. So we're not going to have all of them before we go there, but those will be the last two. Ow. That sounded legitimately painful. Real electroshock. Goodbye, Lake Bed Temple. We shall never see you again. Until my next playthrough of Twilight Princess. Probably a couple years before I play it again. It's been a couple years since I played it. I generally play it every couple of years. Interesting. Can we warp underwater? No. Can't even transform the wolf underwater. So that, that makes sense. Rise, Link! Rise to the surface! quicker if we took the Zora suit off and swam upwards? I almost feel like it would be. I'm willing to try. You know, give him a, give him a little bit of desperation. You can do it, buddy! You can do it! Don't drown! Don't drown again! See, there you go. I had no doubts. So we should get over to dry land. I see you, you stupid chest taunting me. Doesn't look like we would have been able to exit from there. Oh, there's two there, too. I do kind of want it, if I'm, if, I'm, if I'm being honest with you. Like, how... How would we even... Oh, you know what? There was that one, yeah, over there that I thought we needed Fanatis for. Maybe, maybe, or not Fanati, um, the, the Foul by Flight guy. Maybe we take care of that really quick. And we'll end the episode with that. So I can cross it off my mental list. So that means I'm gonna need, uh, two flights. And two cannon shots. see the Arbiter's Grounds from here. Get me up there, my guy. Oasis flight. Oh, if we want to fly to the desert, that's right. Like Oasis flight. 
you know, that's a surprisingly really useful NPC. We use them for three different things, one of which is more of like a regularly used transportation service. So that's pretty neat. Hey, bud. Hi. Costs us 30 rupees to get up here and use this. 20 if we come from above, but that's like harder to do. Yo, why are you running for me? I just want to, like, hold on to you while I fly long distances. Probably, like, breaking your legs. Seriously, how am I not heavy enough to break these guys' legs? Can you come here? Thank you. Alright, I'm definitely going to do a save state before we go. First off, let's do the one by the... Honestly, let's just go underneath. Why not? I might have needed to go for this right away. I think I did. What's up here? Doesn't look like much of anything. Bonk. Okay, there's no bonking. That's good. Is this a Poe thing? Do I gotta chill here until... night? Is it a wolf diggy thing? It is a wolf diggy thing. Okay, what's in here? And if we're lucky, maybe we can use that um, cuckoo over there to get over to the spring. That's a clam, I think. Or oyster or whatever. Oh, that's like several clams. Okay, this, this is a bad place to be. I, I don't want to be here. I mean, obviously we're gonna have to kill all them to get whatever treasures in here, but like, wow. Um, is there anything we can use to make our life a little bit easier? Can we shoot underwater? Probably not. Maybe if we bomb them? Also, it's really dark in here. Did I mention that? Like, it's really dark in here. Oh, this is, this is a bad spot. I don't know if this does anything to them. Does. Straight up kills them. That's fine, we'll kill him normally. Is that it? Yes, okay. I wonder if this will be a piece of heart. In which case, boom, that was a preemptive grab right there by your boy. Jars, gotta make sure there are no jars or skulls. No? Okay, we seem to be good. Mm. What you got for me? Probably rupees. Yeah, orange ruby. That tracks. Let's find that probably killed a little bit of time in terms of day-night cycle. So if there's a Poe up here, it should hopefully spawn? Question mark? Hmm, doesn't look like much if any time passed. And I don't think we're going to be able to make it over there with one cuckoo from here. Although having one to avoid having to swim this whole way is welcome. I think we're just gonna chill for a second while it becomes night. Oh, oh, yep, yeah, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I freaking knew it. 
Come here, bitch. I'ma rip the soul right out of your body. Your spectral body. 33, baby. Cool. Glad I stuck around for a minute. Oh, good to see that it doesn't need to be, like, pure dark, either. Now, while we're up here, and we have a good shot of the whole region, I should see if there are any other... pose we want to grab to save ourselves time later. Yes. Over by the tower. Okay, we're just gonna warp over there because that'll literally be quicker. Grab that. Then get the stuff on top of the spring. We'll call it an episode. Get up to the tower, which is over. Oh, there's another one over there, too. Wow, there's a lot in this area that we haven't gotten. Okay, fair enough. Surprised I didn't notice this one. Oof. We're doing we're doing this again, are we? Too bad we can't uh, use the hook shot while in water, or claw shot. That would be most convenient, yeah? This way. Swim, Link, swim! Alrighty, let's maybe try this again with less jumping off of things. Maybe a few more cheeky little save states. Where are we going? Over here. Maybe we take off the Zora armor as well. Was that a chest I saw? <gasps> it is. Ha! Let me guess, rupees? Yeah. Okay, I don't want to have to swim back just yet, so we'll maybe come back for that in a minute. One of these dig spots could have a little mini dungeon room in it, with jars in it, and chests and stuff. But that's kind of what I mean when I say that I don't really care all too much about the ones that aren't marked on the map. Because the possibility of so bloody many exist. Oops. There we go. And I'm okay with not getting all of them because I physically don't have the energy to try and hunt every single one down, you know what I mean? So like, that that chest down there with 100 rupees, if I forget to grab that, I also don't really care all too much. It does weigh on me a little, oh, I see you, a little bit more than something like... Um, the dig spot ones, because I know that it's there, like how the, um, 
above the spring is weighing on me a little bit, you know? Because I know that they're there. I can see them. Alright, come here. Some of it is definitely gamer pride, um, completionism mindset, but some of it is a little bit like literal eye twitch. Look at those over there. Interesting. I'd have to be over there to deal with it, I think. So there'd be a land there. It's another thing where, like, you know, if you kill all those, you get a... A little heart, hail of rupees. All right, where was that one? There was that bomb spot. We'll see what's in there. That might be um, another like long winding mini dungeon with uh, a couple of postals in it, so we might as well get that. But I also want that one ruby chest because I know that it's there. What do we got? Yeah, okay, it's one of these. You know, this episode is getting a little bit long, so I guess we'll pick up here next time. Don't worry, we'll still grab the stuff above the fountain, and we'll still grab that orange chest, and carry on with heart piece collecting. Yeah. So thank you everyone for joining me. I hope you had fun. Don't forget to subscribe again if you haven't already. Smash that like button, leave a comment, you know all that jazz. And I will see you next time for some more Twilight Princess. Ow! <laughs>